I'm Melissa Case from Hat to Hem, and today I'm going to show you a possible hairstyle you can do if you're going to a renaissance fair. Or do this hairstyle on a random Tuesday when you're going grocery shopping. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. Now, if my energy is a little bit off today, I hope you'll forgive me. I usually film at night after my son goes to bed, but because this is a hairstyling video and I'm taking pictures afterwards, that wasn't really an option. So I'm doing this before my son even gets up in the morning, and I'm not a morning person, so... I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> All right, hairstyle. So you wanna start out with a center or center-ish part. I feel like my parts are never actually center. So just do your best on that. So for this hairstyle, all you need are hair ties and bobby pins. I have both types of bobby pins, but it really doesn't matter. Now the first step is really just a personal preference. I like to brush this hair back because usually I brush kind of straight down and that kind of leads the hair pretty close to my head like this. But when I brush it back, it gives me just a little bit more volume. Maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't. But it doesn't hurt to try, right? Okay, so next I'm going to take this front bit of hair. Can you tell I don't usually do hair styling videos? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take this first bit of hair. We're gonna just kind of brush out with our fingers. We're going to twist it and pull it back towards the back of our head. If you wanna push it forward a little bit to get a little bit of a poof, that's up to you. And then I'm just going to secure it with two bobby pins. I usually make it in some kind of an X just to hold it in place. I really don't care if it shows too much, but really just however you want to pin back your hair, go for it. And then you want to repeat that on the other side. I usually start grabbing the hair from just behind my ear and just kind of taking my thumb and going straight up. So again, twist, push a little bit forward and pin. So and I have just a simple half up, half down hairstyle, which is pretty much how I've been doing my hair since seventh grade. All right, so next you wanna go from where those pins are and just go straight down and pull that hair to the front. I would say you're probably grabbing just under a third of your hair, not including the hair that's been pinned back. You wanna leave that. Now the next part is up to you. You can do a regular three strand braid. I'm gonna do a four strand braid for no particular reason, just because I want to. If you have any other kind of favorite braiding method, go for it, there are no rules here. It's a Renaissance Fair. So I'm gonna separate my hair in half, and then I'm going to quarter it. Now to start out, I'm actually gonna hold it up a little bit because I noticed if I braid straight down, uh, when I go to put it over my head, it just never looks right. So I'm going to start holding it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna take these four strands of hair and I'm going to twist them away from my face. And then I'm going to take the middle two and I'm going to cross them over. And then I'm going to repeat with the twist and then cross it over in the center with the strand furthest away from my face going over. And I'm gonna just kinda try and tighten that a little bit and then twist and cross. Downside of having long hair when you're braiding is it tends to get a little tangled, so you might just have to loosen that up a little bit. Anyway, twist and cross. Twist and cross. After a certain point, you can probably not hold it out anymore. You can probably start holding it down again. So when is it that certain point for you? I would say it's when you don't think it's gonna matter when you pin this braid up. So I would say probably about my chin length, but I would say if you're uncertain, hold it out for as long as you need to. It doesn't really matter. Twist and cross. Now this hairstyle probably works better if your hair is on the long side like mine is, but I'm sure you can probably figure out a variant for different lengths. I've done this hairstyle before where instead of pulling the braid over my head, I just kind of pulled it to the back and then I still did the little braids. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's just focus on what we're doing now. Now, when you get to the bottom of the braid, you just want to secure it in your hair securing method of choice. I have these little black hair ties that I use for pretty much everything. They're probably not the most inconspicuous choice. So just go with whatever you want. All right, so then we're gonna repeat on the other side. So again, we're gonna take hair that's kind of just below where our pins are. Just take this section and we're gonna separate it in half and then quarters. Hold it out away from our head a little bit and then 
twist away and then towards actually I'm going to twist it towards my face because that just is kind of what feels better on my hands and for this particular hairstyle it doesn't really matter about symmetry they're all just going to get crossed over the top of my head anyway also if whatever braid you do doesn't look 100% right don't worry about it it's a renaissance fair <laughs> and also it's this hair is going to get crossed over the top of your head so it really doesn't matter if the braid is a little bit wonky it's going to all kind of blend together anyway and if it doesn't it's just going to give it a little bit of extra texture and i don't think there's anything wrong with that all right so at this point you might be really noticing these tails from where you pinned your hair up don't worry about it we're going to get to that soon first we're going to cross the braids over the top of our head it really doesn't matter which one you do first but i would suggest kind of securing it at the bottom to kind of help take the weight off of this section you don't want to pin too far up because that's where you're going to be tucking your braids under but i have noticed that pinning the base of the braids early in the process does help in the long run because otherwise the braids just want to fall down so this kind of gets them in the right direction now where you want to pin your braids is up to you i probably tend to go towards the back of where this part is if not a little bit further i just like this particular hairstyle to be more towards the back but I do think a lot of it goes down to personal preference, so just do what you want. <laughs> I feel like this is not how most hairstyling videos tend to go. You're probably looking for something more definite than do what you want, but sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have our braids up here. So you're going to cross them over and you're going to tuck the ends under the existing braid and you're going to pin it in place. I usually pin it in both the front and back of the braid just for a little bit of extra security. Now for this one, I'm actually going to bring it over, under, and then kind of tuck the tail away. Now, if at any point you have parts that don't look right like this thing, just kind of pin it down in whatever direction feels right. This one feels right going this way. So I'm just going to secure that with a pin and call it a day. There we go. Now down here does not feel secure for me, so I'm going to actually pin that down again. A lot of this hairstyle is just adding pins until you feel secure. Okay, so now I'm going to take those loose strands of hair right here and I'm going to braid them too. Now for this one, the type of braid you do is up to you again. I'm just going to do a three strand braid because it's faster and I know I am on borrowed time with that two year old sleeping upstairs. So quick braid. All right, so if you wanna leave these braids down, go for it. If you don't wanna do them at all, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I am going to pull them along the back of my head and I'm going to tuck the ends into the braid crown that I just did. I'm gonna keep these nice and loose so that they kind of just loop around the bottom of my head. I'm gonna pin that in place. Now, if you wanna pull it out little strands to just kind of frame your face, go for it. It's up to you. Now you also notice that you have like one last tail of hair here. I'm gonna leave it down because that's what I like. If you wanna braid it and pin it up also, go for it. There are no rules here. Cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs> Just do whatever feels right for you. I love this hairstyle because I think it looks more complicated than it is since it's really just four braids. Now, if you wanna weave in some flowers, some ribbons, some strings of pearls, go for it. Just do whatever you want to make it your own. All right, I'm pretty sure my son is waking up, so I need to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you clicked on it because you have an event coming up and you need a little bit of inspiration, I hope you have a wonderful time. If you enjoyed this video or you have some inspiration for a new hairstyle, click that like button and let me know about it in the comments. As always, thank you to my patrons on Patreon for all their support.
If you want to watch how I made the dress that I'm wearing, you can click on the two videos here and here, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I hope it looks good because I can't see the back of my head.